Preparing a home for sale may be easier than you think. You can always hire professional services, but for the DIYers out there, follow these easy steps to get your home ready for launch. Danny Lau here from Line Real Estate, empowering individuals and families with financial success through real estate. Here's a little secret. If you try to clean up your entire home at once, you can easily get overwhelmed. Instead, focus on one room at a time and make a checklist. Here are the must-do steps. 1. Declutter. Clean out, throw out, anything you don't need, take them to Goodwill. Box all those loose items up and take advantage of storage inside your garage. Make three piles with your stuff. Trash, donate, keep. Regardless of what you do with the items, your goal is to clear all flat surfaces with any clutter. 2. Rent a storage unit or use a pod for extra furniture. Following up on the previous point, if you ran out of space in your garage and shed, consider renting a storage unit. Having fewer things laying around your house will make it look more spacious. 3. Make a list of repairs that are needed in the house. If you're doing it yourself, focus one room at a time. If you need a wonderful handyman referral, give me a call. 4. Repaint the walls and baseboard. Go with warm, neutral colors. White, light gray, beige. Stay away from loud colors. Not only will this freshen up the house, it can also mask any potential smoke or pet odors. Remember, paint is 50 bucks in a can, a 10 grand on the walls. 5. Deep clean your home. And I'm going to suggest using a professional service for this. I'm not talking about regular cleaning where you tidy up right before your in-laws come visit. I mean, you will need to clean the top of the fan, grouts between the tiles. We want the windows to be spotless and the carpet to feel fresh stepping on them. If you're going to spend any money in house prep, spend it on deep cleaning. 6. Stock up on light bulbs. Light and bright cells. When showing your house to potential buyers, all your light bulbs will need to work. Pro tip, depersonalize your home. You want to strike the perfect balance between depersonalizing and creating a warm, welcoming home. This means putting away the majority of family photos, but you can leave neutral, welcoming artworks as staging pieces. Sounds like a lot of work, but remember, focus on one room at a time and go through this list. If you do just one room, you're ahead of where you would have been if you didn't do it. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoy my video. Please take a moment to like it and hit subscribe. Shoot me an email if you have any questions so we can hop on a call and discuss how we can achieve your real estate goals. This is Danny Lau. See you next time.